We've already told you many times to stop sharing Bibles and building churches, said the officer to Pavel Goya, father of the Ministry Magazine's editor. During the Romanian communist era, those against the government or who were sharing the gospel were enemies. They were often arrested and beaten badly, but frankly, it didn't stop them. However, for some well-known people, the consequences could be worse. One comedian, for instance, after speaking on TV for many years, started to make fun of the nation's dictator subtly. So to not turn the comedian into a martyr, the government officials decided to kill him in such a way that they wouldn't appear guilty of his death. They radiated him without his knowledge and sent him home to die. When Pavel was caught, the officers didn't beat him. They just warned him again and, strangely, left him alone in a room all night. In the morning, he was released to go home, apparently unharmed. Goya smiled and asked, you just left me all alone in a room. But they shook their heads and said, you don't get it, do you? Well, after a few days, Goya experienced extreme diarrhea, started to lose his hair, and then began losing his nails. The doctor told him that he had leukemia caused by high radiation. If I live, I live for Jesus. If I die, I die for Jesus. Sometimes it is good to take out a big tree so that small trees may grow. Please God, give fire to my children. He prayed before dying. He longed for his children to love and witness for the Lord. And God granted his request. How much are our children ready to sacrifice for Christ, moved by our example and prayers? If they're not willing to sacrifice something now in order to keep the Sabbath, retain moral purity, live a healthful lifestyle, or return tithes and promise, will they, in the future, be willing to sacrifice even their lives for Jesus? As you return your tithe and give your promise, pray to God, asking Him for the courage to sacrifice anything that may prevent you from reaching eternity and enabling you to pass this divine value to your children. May we put our desires last and God first.